Aloha friends, welcome back to A Simply Simple Life. Today we are going to make a manapua. I marinated my pork overnight onto my fridge and I do like to clip the baggie just so that all the marinade uh, kind of sinks into the, the meat into that Ziploc bag. And then for this marinade, um, you can definitely kind of do your variations. Uh, Manapua does not have to be the exact recipe. It is a combination of um, Filipino shopao or the Chinese, um, uh, is it the Chinese bao um, that they that they have. So kind of with Hawaiian recipes, it's just, it's how you make it. So today I have the pork, um, this is the pork butt, a little bit of pork butt and then pork belly that I put in there. I don't like my filling to be too fatty. This one has garlic, um, honey, some shoyu, and I did put um, five spice into here, black pepper, sugar, and then of course the meat. Now with this one, once you marinate it for a few hours, overnight is preferred because it really sinks in the flavor, then you can put it into a baking dish and put it into the oven and bake it for about maybe 25 to 30 minutes depending on how thin you cut your meat. So I cut mine into like a barbecue size so that it's faster to cook. But definitely you can put this into a crock pot, leave it um, as a thick um, butt roast or pork belly, put it into a crock pot, cook it for a few hours, or you can put it over a stove top and then just cook it over uh, medium heat for until it's nice and tender as well. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this into the baking sheet and then put it into about 350 degrees oven for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. Now the manapua does have a tendency to be red in color and that's only because um, the, the ones cooking it put food coloring and so that's all it is is just food coloring so I'll go ahead and put the food coloring later on I did not put it when it's uh, being marinated because I think it's just a waste of food coloring um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out onto the baking sheet there's all my pieces like I said I did um, cut them thinly so that it's faster to cook um, and I did choose the oven method this time so that I don't have to be in the kitchen just stirring over um, onto the stove top while it's co uh, cooking so let this sit maybe 15 20 minutes on to 350 degrees all right so while my pork is cooking up into the oven i'm going to go ahead and start uh, mixing the rest of the ingredients so i just wanted to show you guys really quick i found a recipe and i'm just comparing it with you guys so the one the the recipe that because this is half shell pao and half manapua so manapua filling but shell pao dough because this is lola's dough recipe so the manapua recipe that i have this is what it tells me to do with the yeast which is just add two tablespoons of warm water into the yeast but look it's not rising now lola's recipe however it says for uh, one tablespoon of sugar we'll half a cup of warm water and then the yeast and look look at how that yeast is working so I'm gonna go ahead and copy Lola's recipe of the shopao dough. It calls for one teaspoon of salt. I've already put that in there, half a cup of sugar. And then she also wants me to put um, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, which I have not found a recipe that calls for vegetable oil, but Lola makes shopao all the time. So I'll go ahead and follow hers. And then she said that's for, um, so that when you're working with the dough it doesn't become so sticky um then she says one cup warm milk and then one cup warm water so i'll go ahead and mix that uh both in here okay so i've got everything in here i'm gonna mix it she said to mix it together okay then i'm gonna go ahead and put i don't have my tripod today but i'm gonna go ahead and put all that and then scrape the bowl get all that yeast up in there and then set it aside after I mix it a little in bit. In a large bowl with a sifter, I have four cups of flour. And then on top of that is one teaspoon of baking powder. Now Lola said you need the one teaspoon of baking powder in there. Because when the manapua is cooked, after it's steamed, um, it will keep its shape and not, um, not kind of dense down got everything in there go ahead and sift it and put it into the super large bowl I 
created a little well place all the liquid and then now I'm gonna mix it together now this should have the consistency of like a pancake when you're making pancake went ahead and covered it with saran wrap and let it sit for about an hour okay while I'm waiting for the the dough to rise um, I did take out the pork out of the oven and then I went ahead and cut it with uh, my kitchen shears and this one I don't like the taste of the filling just out of the oven as it um, as if it was just baked so I double cook it so that's why I said with the baking now you don't have to do as I do um, I just don't I just prefer to have the taste of the meat over stovetop like I said, you can put it into the oven, you can put it into your Instapot, you can put it into your crock pot, or you can put it over um, the stove. So I went and just cooked this into the oven for about 20, 25 minutes, um, flipped it once, and then I cut it into like small pieces. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the same marinade that I used to, um, to marinate the meat. I'm going to use that same... Um, ingredients to cook it over the stovetop which is going to be my five spice blend which is also called the Chinese five spice some uh, black peppers some honey garlic and shoyu and my favorite brand of shoyu is Aloha um, soy sauce okay so I'm gonna go ahead and prep that up and cook this into the stovetop I forgot to mention that I did um, put some sugar in there as well. That's about a quarter cup of, uh, of sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this together and then put in the meat and then just cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes. You know to stop cooking it when it's pretty much dried up. You don't want to burn the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one to the side. So in a smaller saucepan, I'm going to go ahead and heat this up for about five minutes. And this is going to be one cup of water, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt. And then once this is all mixed together, you can also add your food coloring in there, which is the color red. I honestly don't like to put the, the color red because I think the natural color of the pork just makes it more appealing to eat but uh, it's preference if you like the the traditional red color then it would be this one this is why it's called the char siu uh, flavoring because of that red coloring in there but I prefer the natural I'm gonna go ahead and warm this up once this thickens I'm gonna add it to the other pot I went ahead and took it out of the heat so this is what it's gonna look like because of that cornstarch, it's going to make it really thick, so make sure you don't walk away from the stove. Now I went ahead and put the pot of meat back onto the low heat, and then I'm going to slowly add in the, the cornstarch and water and sugar mixture. This is just to thicken it. You don't have to add the whole thing, just based on the consistency of your meat. So I'm going to start with half, mix it well, okay. For the purpose of YouTube and make it more authentic, I did put just a little bit of that food coloring. But as you guys can see, it has become really thick and that's the traditional uh, char siu manapua. Alright, so I let my dough uh, sit outside. It's a pretty sunny day uh, for about 45 minutes and you can tell that it's nice and warm outside because of the condensation. So my dough has doubled in size and then instead of kneading it with my hand I am going to use my stand mixer and use the dough hook. Okay, And then throughout the process I'm going to knead it for, um, I'm going to start with about five, mi uh, 5 minutes. It should be the consistency of like a pizza dough and then I'm going to add more flour as, um, as it turns. So about three to four cups more uh, flour. It's going to take about eight minutes on a stand mixer with a dough hook or by hand roughly about 25 minutes. You know it's done when basically there's not, there's no flour onto the sides of the bowl. And I also went ahead and added about three to four cups of the, the flour onto the mixer while it was mixing it. I do have an oiled 
uh, bowl that I'm gonna, going to use and then I'm going to place the dough back into the bowl and then go ahead and let it rise for about 45 minutes to another one hour. There we go. Now you can place this just over the counter if it's a warm day or outside. I live in Pacific Northwest so our hot day is really not that hot. It's about 73 degrees outside if anything probably between 65 and 70 or else you could put it into the oven uh, turn the lights on and it'll be warm enough right, now to prepare the wax paper so I have just a Reynolds cut right wax paper I put no oven for the kids make sure that they don't put it into the oven um, I have a small bowl that has a little bit of vegetable oil in here all I'm going to do is just get a paper towel get that oil and kind of rub the oil onto the wax paper so that it prevents it from sticking to the dough while it's being steamed. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it into square pieces um, about, let's see, maybe three by three uh, or two by two or maybe four by four. I'll figure it out. Right, when we make this, we never measure, but uh, three by three is about a good size to be able to have. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just nice to be able to just have it covered the dough and then when you're steaming it, it's going to have that bottom uh, covering on it. Alright, the dough, the second rice has now doubled again. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. If you guys can see that. Okay. Then I'm going to get um, a small like small piece and then be able to stretch it out and then put some of the the filling inside okay just got a small piece stretched it and I do a lot of the stretching first into the middle and then the edges kind of pull as you move it around you can also use a rolling pin but what you want is a nice not too thin circular shape it's like making a small pizza <laughs> pizza dough okay and then you're gonna go get some of the filling okay then you're gonna put a generous amount but not too much perfect and then you're gonna pull the sides and put them into the middle then you're gonna pull and then kind of over overlap so that you're sealing those edges pull keep your thumb into the middle and then meet into the middle and then that's how you have that like flower kind of shape and then you pinch it and then you get your wax paper that's been oiled and then you're also gonna let this kind of rest for a few minutes so by the time you make up a, a couple of them you can put it into the steamer which I'm already steaming up the water all right the secret to putting that uh, two tablespoon of oil onto the dough is look okay it does not stick I did not need to use any more of uh, flour and then I am using the rolling pin onto my board and look at that okay another tidbit and <laughs> another tip is putting um, a dish towel over the lid so that one you can easily hold on to it and then two it creates like um, it doesn't the steam doesn't um, the steam does not go on to the um, the manapua itself okay it's not the prettiest but amazingly uh, delicious so it's going to steam for about 12 12 minutes all right it's been steaming for about 12 minutes I'm go ahead and place it onto cookie rack to let it cool and then on to the next batch. 
cut it with a knife just to show you guys and then it's gonna open and look how delicious it looks it has that red coloring because I added the red coloring um, to it to make it more authentic manapua and then the dough itself is Lola's recipe so you see how it did not stick okay let me taste it mmm mmm delicious mm -mm -mm. all right friends I'm outside excuse excuse the noise but I wanted to show you guys because I am losing daylight into the kitchen but I've gotten a couple of manapuas made and look at the filling oh my gosh it is so good the kids loved it so the girls had some even Jonathan doesn't really care for manapua or shopao or hambao he said this was really good